Hello everyone, today I'm going to test my new seat for the Versus, of course. So guys, a new seat. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking and they bought another Boxer seat. Well, not exactly. So let me show you my new seat for the Versus. That's it. So, what you see here is a sheepskin, quite thick sheepskin. That was uh, important that it's thick and fluffy. And in a moment I'm going to mount it on my standard Kawasaki versus seat. I'm going to show you what's my idea to do that. But first of all, why the sheepskin? Well, Traveling, I met a few riders that were riding in, on the sheepskin and they were quite uh, happy with it. And I saw as well uh, on YouTube a lot of riders which are using this kind of sheepskin. And everybody is saying, yeah, it's, it's good, it's comfortable, you nothing know, pain in your bottom. Uh, so uh, I did, I'm gonna try it. The second reason why I chose this sheepskin is, you see, for example, the Boxster seat, it costs almost 500 euros. It is nice, it is kind of comfy. This piece of sheepskin cost me 25 euros. And I'm gonna mount with the help of this flexible strap and that cost me four or five euro. I don't remember exactly. So it's about 30 euro. So I would say 30 euro is much less than 500 euro. So for that reason, I'm just curious of it's wor really working, of it's really good as they say. Let me show you uh, what's my idea to mount uh, this thing on my uh, standard seat and. Uh, Let's go for a test ride. So my idea of mounting the sheepskin is I'm just gonna lay this thing like that. It's a little bit longer but that was my idea that my legs are comfortable as well. So as you can see it's laying nicely but I'm sure it's gonna slide and I don't want that. And the other problem can be that every time I'm on the bike or off the bike, this thing will slide on the ground, get dirty and all of that. So I don't want that. Uh, so my idea is to mount this strap. It has plastic big uh, hooks. So I'm gonna just hook, uh, let me show you. My idea was that I'm going to hook uh, here by the frame, somewhere like that. This way, because my legs are here, I don't think, or like that, I don't know. It's still to test. But I, my idea is that uh, it won't uh, be on the way of my legs. And I'm going to strap this. Like that to the other side, of course. Sitting on this strap won't be comfortable, but fortunately this is very... and it have quite long hair, so I can bury this strap in the, in the fur. Look, it's not visible. It's, it looks good. Let me do the test, let's sit on it. Well, I'm not feeling this, this, this rubber strip, so that's good. It looks good actually. Yeah, the strip is there, it's no problem with my legs. So, uh, it's quite good. Uh, well, let's... Uh, Test it on the road. 
So, okay guys, let's get on it. Let's test this ship skin. So, uh, I'm gonna ride uh, for a few minutes and I'm gonna give you my first impression on it. And then I'm gonna ride some more and I'm gonna give you a, a more an idea of uh, what I'm thinking about it. it kind of review so uh, let's get on the road so my first impression guys I'm riding for about 10 minutes right now and my first impression is I am very comfy my butt is very comfortable I have a feeling that I'm sitting on a fluffy cushion, which is very nice feeling. So um, that's a very positive impression. My second impression, which is a little bit less positive, the sheepskin is actually quite slippery. And I'm giving a lot of throttle. My butt is sliding a little bit to the back and when I'm braking I'm sliding a little bit forward. That's something that uh, worries me a little bit because that's not what you it's not what you want. You don't want to slide on your uh, um, on your seat. It's not very bad, but I'm, I am sliding on it. But we'll see, maybe after riding some uh, more time it won't be so slippery. It's, yeah, it's a little bit strange. I have on my uh, trousers special things on my butt, anti-slides things, stickers, I don't know how you call it. The rabbit trousers have an uh, anti-slip uh, elements on the, on, the, on the trousers, on the belt. First impression after, what it was, it's one hour, ten minutes, something like that. Well, I'm still comfortable. My butt is really enjoying that comfort, so uh, no complaints here. The sliding thing, I'm still sliding a little bit, but honestly I have to say that I do not notice that anymore. I just I don't care when you're riding even without sheepskin you are moving on the seat when you are braking it's, it's yeah the gravity is pushing you towards the front of the bike so forwards and when you are accelerating very hard it's pushing you backwards so you do move a little bit on the seat always maybe on the sheepskin a little bit more but uh, honestly speaking it's not that bad that I will be unhappy so shortly speaking I can accept that and of course if you want to ride very sporty then you can just remove the sheepskin and sit on the on your seat only but the idea for this sheepskin is for uh, for long travel that I can uh, enjoy a comfortable seat so mostly when you're riding the whole day on a highway yeah that's the idea for the sheepskin not for sport riding on a circuit or something and another thing I uh, notice 
Mm, that is the sheepskin is quite warm, quite hot actually. My butt is very warm, and today temperature is between 13 and 14 degrees Celsius. It's not very warm. I'm worried a little bit how it's going to feel like in the high temperatures when it's going to be above 20 or almost 30 degrees Celsius. I'm wondering if that won't be too hot. So for now I'm okay that my butt is nice and warm. I'm enjoying it actually. And how it's going to be in a very hot weather and in a very long rides. I have to test that because I am not going to know that after one hour riding. I just stopped for a while to change the camera angle. And here are some llamas. I think they're llamas or they're alpacas. But they're really enjoying themselves, they're sleeping. I think they're alpacas. Very cool. Hello everyone and welcome back. Second day of uh, testing my new seat slash uh, sheepskin cover for my seat. It's a beautiful uh, day as well today. Unfortunately, very windy. Today is much warmer. My uh, summer gear, which is of course my uh, leather retro jacket and my Kevlar jeans. Uh, it is 19 degrees today, so I thought that's gonna be a perfect opportunity to test the sheepskin on uh, with the other gear with, the, uh, with my Kevlar jeans. So here I am. I'm uh, riding for about 40 minutes already. And now my first impressions. I'm less slidey in this jeans. In jeans, they are not sliding that much forward and backward. I'm sitting theoretically nicely in one place. The other difference is I'm not that hot in my butt as I was in my Revit gear. I don't know what is the reason for that. I thought it's gonna be even warmer in my Kevlar jeans. But actually it is not and I'm very comfortable. So um, that is pretty positive experience I have to say. Actually I have the feeling that I'm much better ventilated, so my butt is better ventilated. But the sliding is less sliding than in a Revit gear. So in the Revit uh, trousers my butt is sliding forward and backward a little bit. But not so much in uh, jeans. But uh, the rest is actually the same. I'm quite comfortable. I'm warm. So it is time for some conclusions about my two-day testing of uh, sheepskin riding. We are in a very cool place by the river. The beautiful weather and unfortunately pretty strong winds but that doesn't matter we are not here for the wind we are here for this little bison on my verses I don't call it anymore sheepskin I call it a bison because it looks like one but okay let's get started what are pros and cons 
about riding on a sheepskin. Well, I have only one comb, the rest are all only pros or something between. The only con I can see for now is you cannot ride on the sheepskin in the rain because it's gonna get wet and you're basically gonna sit in the, in the mud and I don't think that's gonna be a very nice uh, feeling. The rest are mostly pros. Well, first of all, sheepskin is very universal because you can use on every bike you want. Just have to cut the piece the way that it fits most of the bikes. I did test it as well today on uh, my Honda CB750 and actually I was even more comfortable than on the Versus because uh, the seat on a uh, Honda is, is more flat so there's more more to sit on so my butt was even more comfortable so the comfort which is I think the most important of course I don't think I'm going to use sheepskin for comfort in a short uh, uh, trip, short riding, because I'm not uncomfortable in the short riding. It's, it's good enough, but when you have to ride six, seven hundred kilometers a day or more, this is a very good solution. Another pro is it is quite cheap. It costs about 30 euro, inclusive the strap I have. So that's much cheaper than uh, 500 euro for a Baxter seat, for example. Another pro, it's quite warm. It's a bit warmer on my uh, rabbit gear. Maybe because there is more plastic, I don't know. Uh, it's less breathing than the jeans. Jeans, of course, are more breathable and uh, thinner and lighter. So the filling is much less warmth, but it's still warm, so uh, you won't get uh, cold butt on the sheepskin. Another pro of the sheepskin, it's very easy to mount and very easy to remove. It looks kind of heapy. And another pro, the sheepskin is very useful for many other things. For example, I can remove it from the bike and put here on this bench, which is regular metal bench and it's actually quite cold, so... I can just do that. And I'm very comfortable eating my lunch. And another use for uh, sheepskin is you can use it as your underlayer in your tent so when you are camping I'm sure you're gonna be very nice and warm from underneath so I'm thinking I'm going to buy another piece of sheepskin just a bigger one and I'm gonna use for slipping in my tent because it's just so fluffy and so warm I think that's a great idea well, I think that's all my conclusions for the sheepskin testing. I think this video uh, will help you to decide if you want such a thing or you want to spend 500 euro for some uh, comfort seat. And with this conclusion, I'm going to end this video. I hope uh, it was helpful. Uh, so thank you for watching guys if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please do I will appreciate that very much and of course see you in the next one